Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters World Championship Tournament 2006. I don't know why, but all of the old Yu-Gi-Oh! games had incredibly long names. This is gonna suck when it comes to actually putting the title for the video. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I use the PS2 controller for my Game Boy uh, emulator. Let me turn down that volume a little bit. Alright. Um, so this game, 2006, the reason I chose this one out of all of the Yu-Gi-Oh games they made is because it's my favorite. I owned every single one of these games that came out. And I beat all of them. This one is the only one with actual like progression-based system, where you fight all the monsters on level one. After you beat them all once, you go on to level two. After you beat all the ones on level two three times, you go on to level three, so on and so on. Let's say I already beat Kribo once, Scapegoat once, Skull Servant once, Watapan. They all have like a really weird theme-based deck, and their decks are actually not half bad. So it's really fun. First, second. And they use like 2006 ban list, so there's some fun cards in here. I have. Huh, Heavy Storm's a thing, so let's put out Spell Absorb to absorb some spells. And. Spear Dragon in attack mode with. Oh, should I set another card? Yeah, let's set Compulse. I don't think he'll have a Heavy Storm in his hand, but he might. You never know what kind of card they have. These dudes do love to run staples. Damn it, if he destroys it, it's gonna remove... Eh, whatever. Oh, nice, I can see what his deck is. Looks like he has a light-based deck. Yeah. Oh, he does have a Heavy Storm, but it's not in his hand. Hmm, that's not too bad. He just runs a light base deck. I haven't played this game in so long. I think I bought it when it like, first came out, too. What was I? Middle school back then? 2006? Something like that. Sounds like middle school to me. Maybe the start of high school? No, high school is 2007. Ooh, no limit of cross out. Gaining life points. I chose the Spellcaster deck because it's the best deck that you can run in this game. Well, it's the best starter deck you can choose from. All the other ones. I think the Dragon one's not half bad, but since this format was still pretty much about having the highest attack monster, since this is the time when effect monsters were actually getting good effects, and it wasn't all about just bringing out Summon Skull. Um, yeah, so the effect monsters actually, because this is when level monsters are out, like the final guy you go against is like level 8 Horus. <sighs> but, with all that being said, you still just want to have high attack beat stick monsters, since this is the early stages of effect monsters when GX first came out. This is probably the most advanced Game Boy Advanced game. Wow, I haven't drawn into anything good. I can't believe I got stalled out so long by uh, stupid uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Ah, oh, shit. DD Warrior Lady, would you like to activate an effect? Oh, that's right, I can stop it. With this terrible card. Dang, how long ago did I make this deck? I think I started up this game like... I can't remember, it was a while ago though. Main Phase 2. This was in their glory days of showing the entire screen when playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game. This was before Tag Force came out for the PSP, where it had that slanted view. Slanted view is obviously the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. This top-down view is not half bad either. In all the other Game Boy Advance Yu-Gi-Oh games, you can only see like a portion of the screen at a time. 
And in this one, you see everything. You see both hands. Would you like to activate a card? No, it's gonna try to activate that one stupid card. Hmm. Hmm. What should I do? Should I steal his monster and draw a card out of it? Hells yeah. Ring control so cool. I even gained 500 life points for it. Does this guy do piercing damage too? I can't remember. I think so. Maybe. No. Ah, oh, Magician of Faith. Oh, he does do piercing damage too. And I get a draw card. That card's so good. See, but I only get to keep it for one turn. Main phase two. Let's set down a dust tornado. He's going to get destroyed. So that's fine. I mean, he's going to go back to my opponent. That doesn't really matter. Let's speed up his turn a little bit. Pot of Greed, what? That's awesome. I wonder if I have the Pot of Greed in my deck. Man, I missed that card. An effort plus plus one. Uh, no thank you. Damn it, it does piercing damage. I don't know how I keep forgetting about that. Oh wow, you drew into him. So there's no tutors or XYZ monsters in this game, so... Special summoning not monsters isn't really a big deal. What, I have triple Magician of Faith? That's good. Do I have any good spell cards? Yeah, I have brain control in my graveyard. And his turn, nope. Oh shit, I mean yes, I do want to use a card. Ooh, Sakuretsu Armor. That was the thing before D Prison came out. I think D Prison came out in Tag Force 3. Mm, nope. And should I flip a card or. or what? I still only have that one. Damn, this deck isn't that great. If I use Fissure, it'll just destroy this little guy, so. Let's flip this dude. Add. Oh, wait, I can totally banish this face down card. Chances are it's something good. Nah, I'm gonna steal. Steal it with brain control. Activate brain control. Take his knight again, because I get to draw a card off of this dude. <laughs> Where are his life points? I can't see. Because that stupid thing's in the way. The frames per second numbers. Let's go for an OTK. Ha, ah, like I can win on this turn. Go, Spear Dragon. Spear him. And let's just set this card face down. Light Swarms don't exist. So there's no reason to be fearful of face down cards. No wait, there are still other weird ones. Now nah, I look at his deck. It should be fine. Nope. Oh shit, it's a Marshmallow. Nice! Still got to draw a card. Alright, good thing Spear Dragon does piercing damage as well. Damn, I kind of regret putting that card in the grave now. Since he has a stupid... Ugh. That sucks so much. Blast Magician. What is this guy's effect again? Something about destroying monsters, right? Each time your opponent activates a spell card, but... Oh yeah, destroy it. Times 700. Whatever, I have Sakuratsu to protect me against his Air Knight. End phase. Damn, I really shouldn't have wasted that fissure. No, not the Silent Swordsman. Nope. I don't care if she dies. Sacrifice her to the gods. Damn it. Not my Spear Dragon. Not that it really matters. I'm gonna Sakuretsu that bitch. Oh my god, another swords? 
Wait, didn't she add it back with the Magician of Faith? Uh, that sucks. Draw a card, another Apprentice Magician. At least when this guy's flipped now. Two attack position. When does this guy level up? I get the effects of your opponent's spell cards, I designate this card, during your standby phase, this card to the graveyard, special summon one silent swordsman level 5 from your hand or deck. Damn it. I have to destroy it now or else its effect goes off. But I can't, and he only has one spell counter on him. Uh, put one spell counter on this card by removing a spell card, destroy one face up monster in the field with an attack equal to or less than 700. Might as well just use it to pump Marshmallow since he's going to attack him almost. Uh, no doubt. When he levels up his Silent Magician to level 6. Hurry up and level up your stupid monster. From your hand. Well, oh, I thought it was level 6. I guess it's only level 5. Fucking shit. He's gonna destroy him. No. Oh, I forgot Nobleman was actually like a huge bane back in this day. Nice. 500 life points. I've been gaining life points like crazy. Too bad he's gonna destroy my Blast Magician. I really hope I don't lose this. But it looks like that might happen. Dang, I just keep getting life points through that card. I wonder how many times it's gone off so far. Oh, nice. I just found a way to stall. Swords. Shit. It's that card. Um, I could bring him out, but I should probably save it for something good. I'm talking about my face down. Call the Haunted right there. End phase. Let's just skip through his turn. I love being able to speed up this shit. Oh, fuck. He's unaffected by spells, isn't he? Damn it. Card are unaffected by your opponent's spell cards. This card successfully attacks your opponent's life points directly during your standby phase. Oh wow, that's a pretty shitty condition to bring out his other one. No, dragon! A sort of priest? Why'd you bring her out? She's just gonna go back to your hand. A card can attack all of my cards once each. God damn it, when is your stupid card going away? Well, I can't let him attack me directly, so... Call the Haunted. Let's bring out Blast Magician. And then put Mage Power on him. There we go. Wait, my spell cards count towards the two? I thought it was only your opponents. Ugh, oh, that's gay. Alright, let's destroy his Colosseum, dude. Royal Magical Library, I mean. This is when spell counters were introduced. Spell counters were pretty legit back in the day. Defense mode. Seems I've got him on the rocks. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. What's his defense? A thousand? Alright, that means I can still run him over. If he had Regeki Break in his hand, why would he put him in defense mode? Oh, I know why, because it's a stupid AI. Alright, that's fine. Mythical Beast Cerebrus. Cerebrus. As long as he activates a spell card, I get 500 attack. And I keep gaining life points. I really wonder how much life points I've actually gained through that. Ooh, Magician of Chaos. Too bad I can't use him. Alright, let's attack. 
I still have no idea what that face down card is. He's had it face down this entire time. Oh yeah, he put that card down. I forget, the AI is not very smart. Your turn. Are you going to attack? Nope. You just left him there. Alright, if I attack, he'll bring out something like a marshmallow, maybe. But it doesn't matter, because on my next turn, I can bring out this guy. Oh, shit. We have the same attack, don't we? Huh. Probably should have thought that through a little bit better. Just a smidge. Battle phase, destroy Magician of Faith. Now I get to add a card back to my hand. Hmm. Hmm. Brain control, premature burial, swords revealing light. I could bring out swords to buy myself three turns, or premature burial to go for. Or maybe brain control, magical dimension. Yeah, let's bring out burial. Why not? I can bring out Blast Magician. The face down cards are actually not half bad. Ooh, nice! Chaos Sorcerer. I didn't know I had this guy in here. Let's get rid of Magician of Faith. And. Apprentice Magician. Nice. Oh, yeah, Ignition effects still existed back in this day. Where when you summoned a monster, you can use their effect immediately. Ah, fuck, it was a bottomless. Oh well, good thing I got to use the ignition. Alright, let's go for a premature burial. And then I gain 500 life points for activating it. Let's bring out... Oh, if I bring out Blast Magician, I'm screwed. But if I bring out Spear Dragon, I'm screwed too on my next turn. At least with this guy, I have a higher chance of actually you know activating spells and destroying his stupid low attack monsters his effect isn't half oh and Zakaretsu never mind end phase shit I'm so open Whew, he didn't draw into anything good but it scared me for a little bit oh skilled dark magician finally drawn to you why didn't I draw into you later I mean, earlier. 1900 beat stick. Ha, copycat. That's why he said him. Your turn. Ha, there is nothing you can do. Alright, if I just draw into something, nope, didn't draw into anything good. Uh, uh, with this, you can only move one a turn. Why the hell do I have this card in my deck? Whatever. Battle Phaedrus with Scarecrow, Gortz, they don't exist. Alright, end phase. I love being able to speed up. Fuck! No, wait, if this card's destroyed, do you get to act move them? I don't know. I'm about to find out, I guess. Nope. Why did you bring her out in attack mode? Well, she, he loses anyway, I guess. Breaker. Damn, I forgot I had Breaker, too. Breaker's so good. Battle. Alright, looks like I beat you, Potsapon. I thought I was going to lose for a second. But then I didn't. So that was something. Skill Dark Magician. Direct attack! Ha 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 ha. You win. Alright, I'm gonna go buy cards, and I'll turn back on the recording once I go against the next guy. Dual bonus, max attack bonus, destroy in battle bonus, spell card bonus. Wow, I destroyed a lot in battle. If you activate final countdown, you get like 2,000 points, so that's a good way to actually like farm stuff, because you get special conditions for activating hard to activate cards, and back then, final countdown was brand new, so it was considered a really hard to... Uh, activate card since it took 20 turns to win and I use that to pretty much buy all the cards in the game